When you learn to taste, there's something really important that no one really talks about. The process of learning to taste, developing that skill, is great because you can detect, define, describe, kind of communicate what you're tasting. And beyond that, you don't just know that something is good, you can explain why it's good. And because of this, the highs get higher. You will enjoy certain foods or drinks even more than you did before, and maybe even more than those around you. But here's what we don't talk about. While the highs get higher, on average, what you eat and what you drink will get worse. And it will get worse because you'll see all of the flaws, all of the mediocrity in a way that you didn't before. This will quickly take you to a bit of a difficult place where all you'll want to do is just have good experiences. You'll start dragging yourself across towns, across cities, looking for the better place so you don't have to compromise. And you'll get there and you'll still kind of tear it to pieces. And while the highs do get higher, very soon you realize they get further and further apart. They're harder and harder to find. And you'll start to spend more time and more money chasing those highs. Eventually, you'll become kind of a burden on your friends. They don't really want to hang out with you if all you do is complain. Now, I got myself to this place, and I'll tell you what worked for me, what got me out of it. In the case of coffee, I started to drink bad coffee. Now, I didn't go and seek it out, but when it was going to happen, I just let it happen. It might have been a plane, an airport, a hotel, a diner. I didn't fight it anymore. I just started to drink the bad coffee. So I'll tell you why this worked for me. Without a little ugliness, there can be no beauty. If everything you drink is special, then nothing is special. And I, I needed that context. I think we all need that context. And yeah, we might wake up, brew coffee, and think, ah, oh, maybe lack some sweetness, maybe lacks a little complexity. But in the great scheme of things, you know, in the broad spectrum, it's amazing. And I'm not saying we shouldn't try and make coffee better. I'm not saying we shouldn't be chasing excellence, but it's okay to stop and just enjoy where we are sometimes. It's okay to just enjoy your morning coffee. Do you need to taste terrible things to enjoy the great things? To be reminded of what makes them special. And so that's, that's the deal. That's the contract that you enter into when you learn to taste. You're gonna develop a skill, but it's gonna mess you up for a little while. But hopefully, well, maybe this will help you get out of a bad place. I'll be interested to hear what worked for you. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.